Top hats and bowler hats both originated in England. The top hat emerged in the late 1700s as a daring new style, radically higher than the flat three-cornered hat men wore at the time. Then the bowler was invented around 1850 as a lower alternative to the top hat. Today, even women wear bowlers. Top hats remain by and large a masculine fashion statement, reserved for formal occasions. Although magicians are still known to use them to produce rabbits. At the hat factory, workers spray a fine mist of water on hoods, pre-cut hat forms made of 100% wool felt. After the moisture penetrates overnight, they steam them for about two minutes. The moisture and heat deactivate a chemical stiffener in the felt, making the material malleable. Then they place the hood in an aluminum top hat mold, which applies heat and pressure simultaneously. They place a string in a groove along the perimeter and pull. This rolls back the edge of the felt to form a rim. Then they trim off the excess felt. After about 90 seconds of molding at approximately 110 degrees Celsius, they remove the string and open her up. The top hat is now dry and fully shaped. However, the felt is still malleable, so to reactivate the stiffener and lock in the shape, they set the hat aside for about 30 seconds to cool. To make a bowler hat, the process up to that point is identical, but with a bowler-shaped mold. For both hat styles, it takes two sets of hands to pull the hood taut over the bottom part of the mold to avoid creating pleats or creases. There's a separate mold not for just each hat style, but for each size of each style. After the bowler comes off the mold and cools, they give it a second, more precise trimming. Both styles are finished the same way. First, a seamstress takes a wide ribbon, folds it over the edge of the hat, and sews it down on both sides, encasing the edge. Another seamstress uses a gold leaf stamping machine to apply the traditional British milliner's crest and made in England to the hat's lining. The lining fabric is a silk satin blend. She sews the stamped top piece to the side piece. The machine automatically pleats at regular intervals, so the lining will lie flat against the hat's crown. Bowler hats are more rigid than top hats, so they require an extra application of stiffener inside the crown. Once the stiffener dries thoroughly, which takes the better part of a day, the hat is ready to receive its elegant lining. They attach it with hot glue, which dries almost instantly. Next, they cut a strip of leather to the hat size and sew the ends together with a decorative zigzag stitch. The leather has been specially treated to prevent mildew buildup resulting from perspiration. They sew this leather band to the inside of the hat at the base of the crown, covering the edge of the lining. Not only does this produce a neat and classy finish, the leather band also makes the hat more comfortable to wear by cushioning the forehead. Now it's time to finish the outside of the hat. First, they hot glue a cotton ribbon around the base of the crown. Next, they glue on a matching bow. The grand finale is a small silk satin bow on the interior leather band. Then below that, the manufacturer's label. A few taps with the sticky side of adhesive tape easily remove lint, dust, and wayward strands of hot glue. These elegant toppers and bowlers are the product of several experienced, skilled craftspeople. Hats off to them! <laughs>